Okay, as promised. Uh, this is the uh, basic tutorial that I promised you guys about the sheet list. So I'm basically start a project that I'm currently working on the Rags at Residence just to show you the sheet list that I had already completed. But I'm gonna create another sheet that's 11 by 17 um, sheet size. Um, I'm only using this project because it has a, a numerous amount of sheets already in there. Uh, and I can create a nice sheet list for you, but your project may be a little smaller. So as you can see, first I'm starting off with the um, 11 by 17 title block, um, basically showing you where this sheet um, is located now that I created it. I'm going to basically change the name uh, just in case some people are not familiar with um, renaming the, the title blocks in the sheet set. So um just gonna give it a simple name like BIM tutorial sheet list or something like that. So I can just start saving these in my library for future use. Um, go ahead and wrap that up real quick. So now I got that. As you see, we edited it, renamed it, now it's on the title block. So I have my title block 11 by 17, now I can get started with the sheet list. So We'll go around the top pull down menus and basically everything that you do once you have a sheet is in view. Um, we need to place that schedule on the sheet so you have two different types of um, options. You have a schedule option and a legend option. So as you can see in the schedule option you have a sheet list category or selection and a legend you have just legend and key legend. Uh, so we basically use the sheet list because that's what we're doing. So here, uh, the pop-up menu pops up. I'm going across the top, basically showing you the different pull-down menus. Uh, the first one that we're using basically is, is asking us to uh, um, select the different types of uh, columns and headers that we want to have in our uh, sheet list. So we start off with like sheet name, sheet number, um, anything that you see fit, but basically uh, for this project that you guys are assigned in my class, uh, you definitely need to have a sheet name number. Um, uh, have it tally up with the total count at the bottom of the sheet list and um, some type of date. Uh, I'm gonna throw a few more in here just so you can show how to. Um, I can show you how to remove things and um, hide things as well. So I'm gonna add a bunch of revision stuff, as you can see. Um, I'll go ahead and do that. Now I'm showing you that you can basically, once you have that sheet list, you can put them in um, the order that you want by moving them up and down. Uh, once we have that in the right order, you can hit select OK and it'll generate the sheet list similar to what you're familiar with in uh, Excel. It's basically like an Excel spreadsheet. So Revit basically has have, uh, incorporated some type of um, spreadsheet properties. So as you can see here, we have our sheet list. They're in no specific order. Um, the C sheets, which is the cover sheet, should come first. Um, a lot of people ask this question of how to do this. There's so many different ways to do everything in Revit. Um, so we'll get to that. But now I'm going to just rename the sheet list so that you can know where to go, where you need to go to, to name that sheet list. As you can see, it's changed from sheet list to BIM class sheet list tutorial. Now I can deal with the uh, with the uh, the order. So fields, filter, we don't need to do anything in filters at this point, but sorting and grouping is where we'll do a little work just to get this thing to present the way that we want it to, the sheet list. Um, so we have all these different selections because this is the stuff that we've added to our sheet list. So it's going to give us all of these things right now to choose uh, as far as our sorting category. So right now we can say, hey, let's just organize this thing in an ascending order with the sheet number, so it's just going to put everything, you know, in alphabetical order, um, letters first and then numbers. I previously created a sheet order list um, variable, so I'm going to delete it just to show you how I created that because it does not come with Revit right out of the box. So you you can basically customize these items as well. So I'm going to go inside the uh, parameter type, create one new parameter called sheet order because I want this to be in a specific order so we can get the C cover sheets first and then the architectural sheets or interior design sheets and so forth and so on. So that's how you basically create that. 
Uh, now I'm going to add it over to the, 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 the list of um, information that we want to have in our sheet list. Now I have that column that says sheet order. Um, I can zoom in and show you that you know the sheet order is basically um, a column that we now have to give it some type of integer. So what I'm basically doing is saying that anything with the letter C is going to come first. So I'm going to put the number one in that um, column. And anything with letter A, I want those to come next. So I'll put the number two in there. I don't know a quick way to like select everything and just put number two in it and just populate. But we'll just go through this real quick. So number twos and all the A's, ones and the C's, and threes and the I's for now. And like I said, there's more than one way to do this. Uh, I'm just giving you a quick way so you can move on with your projects. So we're finished putting the threes inside all the sheets that begin with an I. In your case, you may just have all I's and maybe one C. So you have one you know, C and the rest of them, the remaining ones will be all twos. Um, so now that I have these numbers inside the sheet order, I can go back into my uh, um, groupings and I can select sheet order as the first uh, category I want to sort by. And as you can see, now I have my C sheets um, at the beginning of my sheet list and then the A's. But we have a problem. We have the A for one, they're not in, in order, so we need to go to a second step and say then by um, the sheet number so they can start putting that stuff in order. And you can keep going as far as you want to, but now you see we have our sheet list um, in the proper order that we want it to be in. Uh, now I want to add a total count at the bottom just so I can know how many sheets I have in case I want to know how much money I'm spending um, to print this stuff out. So uh, I can just basically do that by selecting the option and it'll give us the total at the bottom. Now I want to get rid of this sheet order because I don't want it to show up. Uh, at the top you can hit hide, but in this situation I'm going to select one of the, um, the, uh, the sales and basically say um, uh, hide column. Um, so once we say hide column, we can start adjusting the uh, the width of these cells so that we can uh, uh, show all the information that we have inside the cell. More than likely, your sheet names are going to be pretty long, uh, and your dates are probably going to be about the same. So sheet numbers will probably be about the same too. So we get all that information correct, and then we have our beautiful sheet list and that's the basics of it so now we'll move on to close this down and how do we get this over into the sheet so now just like any drawing views uh, our view is created for the sheet list uh, under schedules so if you don't see it just make sure you hit the uh, expand button which is the plus minus sign on the schedules and you'll see that the sheet list is there mine is the BIM class sheet list so I basically drag it over just like we do the drawing views um, as you can see, it's pretty um, large and long at this point. So I'll start off with basically making sure the top heading information reads clear. The little arrows are uh, little arrows that I can adjust the width and length of things. Um, the bottom arrow controls the, uh, the sail width. The top one basically will control uh, the outer border. So just go ahead and click on the... Uh, the, the arrow underneath for um, to stretch those cells open a little wider. I'm trying to basically show you that you can um, get one line information as opposed to three line, two lines, which is making it more a little boxy. But if it's really up to your preference at this point, I'm just basically making everything one line how it was when we created the, uh, the Excel portion of the uh, sheet list. So I finished wrapping this up and um, we got this thing finally starting to look like what we created in the view. Uh, and as you can see, by straightening it, stretching it out a little bit, it has already become a little smaller. So now we basically have our little break symbol, which looks like a break line in architectural drawings. Uh, we can get this thing centered on the sheet first um, with the top portion being aligned. And then I can select it and go ahead and hit the break symbol, which will basically divide this thing and a million pieces if I want to. If I keep hitting this break button, it'll just keep divide. Uh, so you want to be careful with that because um, you don't want to get too confused. So maybe twice is probably all you need. In your situation, you might not have to do it at all. Uh, 
So now I, I hit the break button. I got two separate um, uh, columns of information. Um, go in now because it seems like it's a still a little too big. So I'm gonna go ahead now and show you how you can just basically remove some information that you don't want to show. Come back into the fields, um, and I can just basically send those items that had the, the re, uh, revision information back over to the um, selection group. And now my um, schedule is back down to three columns. I still have the order list hidden, and now they basically fit on the sheet. And I can just organize this, get it closer to the right side since we in architecture and interior design read from right to left. Um, we get that thing over to the right side as much as we can, uh, leaving a little space around, and there you have it, our sheet list. So go ahead, give it a shot. I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm going to continue to create a few more videos um, for the people who've asked questions in the class for this fall 2011 uh, class session. And there's your sheet list. Thanks, Johnny Mullins. I'm out.